The Georgia Aquarium is the largest aquarium in the world. Whether you're measuring by the number of fish or the volume of water, you won't find a larger collection of underwater creatures outside of the ocean. How Stuff Works recently visited the Georgia Aquarium to learn how an aquarium works. Aquariums are a great way to observe fish doing their thing. But when a fish is in an aquarium, there are three basic things that it will need to survive. Water, filtration, and food. Whether it holds 10 gallons of water or 10 million gallons, taking care of an aquarium means filling those needs. Let's look at how these things are handled at the Georgia Aquarium. The Georgia Aquarium houses nearly 500 species in 60 habitats. Rather than displaying the animals in a traditional linear aquarium design, the Georgia Aquarium is divided into five separate galleries, arranged around a central atrium. The galleries are basically huge water tanks. Each gallery represents a different type of aquatic habitat. The Ocean Voyager tank, the largest habitat, holds three-fourths of the aquarium's water. The Ocean Voyager tank is 263 feet long by 126 feet wide by 33 feet deep and it holds six million gallons of water. A slow-moving conveyor belt takes visitors through a 100-foot acrylic tunnel under the tank, letting them view the fish from below. The aquarium also has smaller tanks and multiple touch tanks, where visitors can get hands-on experience with aquatic animals. Here's how they filter the water at the Georgia Aquarium. Filtering millions of gallons of water is no easy job. The filtration system is made up of 218 pumps, 141 sand filters, and 70 protein skimmers. This system moves 261,000 gallons of water per minute. There is an additional environmental consideration that has to be made at large aquariums. Because many of the habitats are exposed, the temperature in different parts of the facility has to be precisely maintained. The Georgia Aquarium's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning are run by a system that can make 9,000 decisions per minute. The system constantly monitors air temperature and adjusts accordingly to make sure that all the animals are comfortable. This HVAC system has a capacity equivalent to 1,200 average-sized homes. Feeding the animals at the Georgia Aquarium is a lot more complex than just sprinkling a little food on the surface of the water. The aquarium staff prepares meals for the animals daily in a specially designed kitchen called the Husbandry Commissary. The Husbandry Commissary has a freezer that holds 20,000 pounds of food as well as a refrigerator that holds an additional 6,000 pounds. A part of the staff is dedicated to preparing the proper amounts of food and serving it. The number of feedings and amount of food per day vary widely from species to species. Aquarium specialists have access to the tanks to feed the animals. As long as they are properly fed, even the most predatory species won't typically feed on smaller fish. It takes more than 200 employees and about 1,000 trained volunteers to run the Georgia Aquarium. And now you can see why. So that's how the Georgia Aquarium works. HowStuffWorks.com. It's good to know.